Stainless steel tanks, uh, so it's really the, the nature of, of Primitivo to be so spicy and so rich. Uh, of course, the rich and fruit is in but uh, all the spicy uh, notes of Primitivo are natural, uh, born in the grape, so they are not added uh, in, the, in, in the wood. When you drink the Primitivo, you feel that it's uh, high freshness. It's really, if you go in Puglia in, uh, during the harvest time in August, uh, it's really unbelievable to think uh, that a grape can uh, preserve its acidity because it's really uh, warm, uh, it doesn't rain. Uh, there's a lot of wind. That's, it, it helps, uh, of course, uh, when to, to cool down the grape and don't uh, have a lot of uh, warm sensation, too much. Uh, sweetness, but the wind cannot make the miracle without uh, the, uh, the grape. So it's really the DNA of the Primitivo that can uh, uh, reach this uh, fantastic balance. The first one is really, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, you feel immediately this wine, wine from South Italy, especially at the mouth, in, in the nose. But when you drink, you drink easily like it was a wine from Piedmont. So it's, uh, uh, if you look at the label and the average, uh, uh, the alcohol, you immediately feel scared. But if you drink, uh, uh, you immediately feel relaxed and comfortably with his, uh, with his wife. Then I'll, I'll tell you the alcohol, but they are all uh, higher than you think. <laughs> I assure you. And uh, uh, the second one is... Uh, you see another uh, more uh, um, elegant, uh, polite, uh, uh, probably uh, less uh, um, exuberant, uh, less uh, uh, gorgeous, uh, but uh, it's important, uh, and it is wine for uh, the elegance of Primitivo. Like also, in a younger version, this uh, Primitivo got this, uh, in my opinion, wonderful, this uh, violet note, uh, this rose, uh, uh, bergamot, uh, sandal, uh, uh, all in the, it's really fresh this nose, it's really, uh, this is, I always like to put this wine uh, between uh, wines from other parts of Italy and the Primitivo is still recognizable, so but amongst other, uh, you, can, you can think about a Barbera, you can think about uh, some Nebbiolo, it's really interesting, especially at the nose. So um, when you drink it, uh, uh, probably it's easier to uh, to look for, uh, to recognize this one as a Primitivo. Got a little bit of sugar, uh, more roundness, uh, but uh, you feel that the uh, freshness and the elegance is still there. It's really um, easy to drink, uh, and uh, I'm impressed that you uh, didn't eat a lot of uh, crackers uh, or s during this tasting, but I think that uh, it means that the wines are uh, well balanced, they don't uh, uh, give so uh, aggression on your palate. Uh, this wine for me is uh, it's really interesting, especially uh, the length uh, in the mouth uh, is a young, young version of Primitivo, but still uh, at this level of, of price and uh, uh, aging, uh, it's, it got a lot of complexity. So it's really a wine that uh, can do a lot of work, uh, table, wine bar, uh, uh, with friends, uh, with cheese, uh, is uh, really interesting. Il, uh, the third one uh, is the one I is a uh, very old vines, uh, so we are talking about uh, uh, the same age of the Zinfandel from California. Probably they are planted uh, 60 to 70 years ago. In uh, the climate is totally different, uh, but uh, uh, is uh, at the mouth, uh, the nose, uh, you immediately feel the Okay, here it's easy to recognize the southern uh, uh, style, uh, the notes of uh, uh, dried fruits, uh, red berries and blueberries, uh, some uh, experience some uh, leather notes, uh, some uh, uh, gaming notes, uh, some uh, uh, iodine. We are not, uh, remember that we are not so, uh, the, the sea is five kilometers away, so it's really uh, also the saltiness. Uh, uh, sometimes it's perceivable uh, uh, at the mouth. So it's really intriguing uh, and it's a very original uh, one, even amongst the uh, Primitivo. More important is the... Uh, I think that uh, if you think something about uh, the nose, uh, when you drink, you think something different, because it uh, got more, um, more freshness, uh, is more vibrant, uh, uh, got more power, more... Uh, uh, it's really 
is voluptuous so it's still uh, a lot of drinkability, a lot of, of, uh, of freshness uh, and uh, a lot of uh, possibility with the food. Uh, even here the alcohol is not low but uh, uh, the average equilibrium in my opinion is, uh, uh, is wonderful uh, and especially it's wonderful how much it doesn't, take, it doesn't uh, last in your mouth. We are talking really about seconds. Probably is the the, uh, the wine uh, in our, in between these 15 wines is the one that lasts more, no? It really uh, takes persistent on the palate uh, and uh, it changes a lot also the glasses. Every, every time you turn the, the, gla the, uh, the glass uh, you discover some, uh, some notes of, the, of these wines. That is really, uh, I mean, I, I, had, uh, I was lucky to taste uh, uh, some old vintage. Uh, for this uh, 2014, 14. no, uh, the first one was 2015. First two 15. This one uh, 14. And the first, two, the other two, they are 13 and 12. So we are, we can. Uh, uh, you know, in my opinion, uh, the uh, Primitivo Manduria they are uh, really artist level in making young wine. When it comes to the aging, uh, in my opinion, is a is an area that have a little bit of uh, uh, to develop some more uh, adapt technique. But it's really young, you know. That Primitivo Manduria it is one of the success uh, all in the last ten years, five years. So I'm very. Uh, uh, so I, I got a lot of trust that we developed the, the style in aging. But when you try to, um, to get a little bit more on the lasting time, uh, they are not so uh, quality like in the younger vintage. But you feel that uh, the primitivo with the age, uh, you start of, of course to lose a little bit of uh, its power, its fruitiness. Uh, uh, there are uh, herbs and uh, uh, balsamic notes are more present. Uh, peppery notes, uh, licorice, uh, anise, uh, sandal, uh, and some uh, ferrous notes. Also, this one is uh, uh, the red soils. Uh, usually, is not okay. It's not a direct, uh, uh, but just to remember, if you look at the soils, typical primitivo, you feel uh, uh, the red. Uh, of course, it's not the iron uh, on the on the soil that comes in the wine, but uh, uh, it's not so rare to find the red soils uh, and the red the notes of bloody and the ferrous notes uh, on the on the wine. Dinky Cumano feel that Primitivo still uh, got a lot of freshness, uh, this uh, sapidity, the, the salty notes uh, and uh, got a bit of uh, wood notes uh, and uh, in, uh, in, um, it absents also in other uh, uh, big uh, fruit uh, round wines like uh, change it totally in Italy. If you give uh, Ustra Miner, no? For when it's young, it's uh, uh, totally sweet, uh, almost uh, disgusting uh, from how much is sweet. But then with the age, uh, the sweet, uh, uh, of course, the, 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 the sugar doesn't disappear. But the, per the perceiving of the sugar is very different. Of course, also in Primitivo. After the two or three years, uh, you don't. Mm, more feel the sweet version. This is really different from the Amarone. The Amarone, the sweet sensation uh, continues a lot, uh, uh, but uh, in the Primitivo not, because in the Primitivo the sweet sensation comes from the fruit uh, uh, and the rum and the alcohol. In the Amarone it comes uh, really from the sugar. So of course with the age, uh, especially with Primitivo, the sweet sensation is really fade out uh, uh, relatively quick. Uh, the, the last wine is uh, as I told you, another wine made from a uh, family from Veneto. So it's uh, uh, the link between Veneto and uh, Primitivo, we can find this wine. Eh? Is, uh, I feel that the, the oaky notes and the evolution notes are more on the, uh, on the spicy, the artisanal notes uh, of uh, uh, a little bit of lavender, uh, woody notes uh, um, of uh, cedar box or um, tobacco box of the cedar wood uh, and uh, also the uh, garrig uh, also the uh, some timus uh, some mint uh, uh, so all the aromatic uh, compound and the uh, fruitiness is uh, very uh, at the lower level compared to the other 
in the in mouth you feel uh, the the sugar level probably in this wine uh, but i told you this one is made from people from Valpolicella, so probably they try to have uh, a balance uh, of the wine similar to the wine of the amarone probably is the is the most the primitive or more amarone style uh, than we trade so but th there is a reason uh, in which uh, uh, okay. Of course, if you have to sell your wines Amarone, uh, it's easy to sell. Okay, you want to try to something different, it's made in Puglia. It's not a Amarone, but it's similar. Of course, it's a, in this way of selling wine, is a perfect. And Primitivo, of course, it behaves uh, also well, it is a little bit more uh, sugar level. But uh, uh, in my opinion, Primitivo is interesting because it works well with uh, also with sugar, but also without sugar level. It doesn't only have to fix uh, uh, the problem with the aging and with the good selection, but when you feel uh, when it's young, uh, it's really impossible to. Uh, to uh, it's more similar to the Zinfandel, but uh, compared to the Zinfandel, for me, have more. Uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, Italian uh, or South Italy, uh, Italian uh, heart. So again, more uh, is a warm, uh, embrace, uh, but it's still fresh. It doesn't. Uh, it, not heavy, it's not uh, uh, hard or fatiguing on your palate. Uh, that's something that Primitivo as uh, uh, from uh, as the grape itself is not a way of work. Itself, uh, the Primitivo grape is round, rich, but it's never fatiguing, it's never tiring. Then you can work with the Primitivo in uh, a lot of different ways. But the, uh, the interesting point for me, the focus is that the Primitivo is uh, got that is a natural freshness. Uh, that is important, especially it is a, a high level of, uh, of temperature. And, uh, uh, so I think it was uh, interesting. Uh,